In this video, I want to talk about how I fix my horrible sleep patterns after moving to the big noisy city of New York. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Brad Baldwin. I'm a bachelor's and master's in the field, and I've coached people on how to lose fat sustainably for over 10 years now. And I make these videos because there are a lot of unhealthy insomniacs in America, and I don't want you to be one of them. So let's get into it. The first tip is make it really cold in your bedroom. Now, it's important to know that these tips are gonna be completely lifestyle related that we're talking about today. No supplements, no medications. That's for you and your doctor to chat about if you want. And also, everybody's heard of the supplements to begin with anyway. So first tip, if you're able to lower the temperature to a setting that you will only be warm if you're under the covers, so really cold, it will help you fall asleep and stay asleep more efficiently. So if you get up in the middle of the night to pee, you, you should be thinking, damn, it's freezing. Like, I want to get back under those covers, right? That's how cold we want it to be. Next step, avoid huge meals right before bed. And no, that doesn't mean you need to go to bed starving either. You can have a meal several hours before bed. But if you eat a huge meal right before bed, a lot of times that can keep you up and you'll be wired a bit from having the meal and the carbs and the energy, and it makes it tough to fall asleep. Next tip, if you can, if you can avoid training late at night. So if you finish your workout at 9 p.m. and you're trying to go to sleep at 10, you might still be in fight or flight mode from being intense in your workout. And if you're wired from exercise, it's going to be hard to get to sleep and stay asleep. Again, some people absolutely have to train late at night, but if you can help it, get your workout in earlier. My next tip would be work harder during the day. <laughs> so I know it sounds obvious, but this next tip is to simply just work harder during the day. A lot of people with issues have a lot of energy at night because they haven't worked very hard during the day. So really try to grind harder. Don't just go through the motions in your workout. Try to be intense. You'll be in better shape because of it. You'll probably make more money because you're working harder in your career and you'll fall asleep and recover better, right? Win-win. Next tip, and I'll try to think of how to say this, avoid any social or psychological situations that are going to hype you up or stress you out. This is why it's great to ditch your phone an hour before bed so that you're not arguing with people on social media or your boyfriends or your girlfriends or your boss or your mistresses. And this also applies to real life arguments. Try to resolve them as early as possible so that it doesn't affect your mind when your head hits the pillow. Next tip, block the blue light. Blue light is really bad for your sleep and comes from TV, comes from phone screens mostly, and there are some settings on your phone that you can get to, to block it out and it kind of makes your phone more of a yellow tone, which is fine. You can also get blue light blocking glasses. They're kind of nerdy looking and they make everything look yellow, but if you really want to go all in, you can get blue light prescription glasses as well, which is what I have. They can get a little pricey, but I think they're 100% worth it. I wear mine probably two to three hours before bed every night after I take my contacts out. Really helpful. Uh, next tip, read something boring. <laughs> Literature, a book you need to read for work. For me, it could be anything because if I'm already a little bit tired, there's something about skimming a physical book that can help me fall asleep. I think part of the magic is it also takes your mind off of your phone and TV and life. And either way, this is a win because if you do fall asleep, great. You fell asleep. If you don't, at least you learn some things, right? So that's a, that's a good tip. Next tip is get a sleep mask and make your room as dark as possible. The darker the room, the better. Get blackout curtains. Get a sleep mask. I don't like the cheap ones because they fall off my face because I roll around everywhere, I guess. But the higher end ones with the cups do a really good job. And I notice a much deeper sleep. This one's Manta. Uh, next tip would be white noise or earplugs. 
This is really important, especially if you're in a loud city. I used to live in New York City, in East Village, and on any given night, there'd be people that would be out at bars and I could hear them drunk outside my building because I'm right next to the street. And that's not so great when you have to wake up at 5 a.m. for your personal training clients. Personally, for me, earplugs bother me, but if you can handle it, try those out. I really prefer the white noise machines or a fan at night next to my bed. Next tip, no stimulants later in the day. Caffeine, whether you're resistant to it because you drink coffee all day or not, it does have a half-life. So if you're having trouble sleeping but you're drinking coffee at 6 p.m. or taking pre-workout at 6 p.m., I don't want to hear about nothing's working because that's your first problem, right? If you like coffee or pre-workout, try to do it earlier in the day. Next tip, don't try to fall asleep. If you're utilizing all of these other tips, just let it happen. Don't worry about trying to get to sleep. Just crawl in bed, let your mind wander, and let it happen. A lot of times I'll get in bed, close my eyes, and I just find myself thinking about the most random things, and then before I know it, I realize I'm not making any sense, and bam, I'm asleep. And this all happens in 10 minutes, so just let it happen. And then the final tip is your dog needs to sleep in the bed with you because it's the best and because science. <laughs> um, so hope you've learned something. If you have any other questions, you can comment here or message me on Instagram. And if you like these tips, uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe so that you can see more of them as soon as they hit.